What's up guys, XRQs here and welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, it is going to be a player review on the new foot, bo uh, foot birthday cards for Munyain and Dejene. Dejean? Dejene I'm going to call him. Probably wrong, but oh well. Um, first of all, I'll talk through the stats and everything. Um, I'll look through the centre-back Dejene first, um, talk about him, show some stat uh, gameplay for him and then move on to Munyain afterwards. So, um... You'll see, I've already played the four games with him, but I'm going to leave this um, this intro bit completely impartial, not talk about how he felt in game or anything. I'll do that after the gameplay and during. So I've only played four games at the minute. I might play more depending on the amount of clips that I've got. But I paid 54.5k for him to start with. Don't know how much he is now. So he, he's roughly the same, about 50 odd k. Um, I've put the Katafe goalkeeper in goal just so I can get him on full chem. Because um, I know a lot of people will say like he might play different. Um, I did have a La Liga manager. I don't know why he's on 9 chem when I switched him out. But either way, he was on 10 chem. Um, yeah, as we look in game, honestly, the first negative is 5 foot 10. I am not a fan of small centre backs. Um, medium height perfect, but yeah, personal preference. Don't like small centre backs. Always feel like they get pushed off of the ball and feel weak. No matter what their strength or regression or, or anything is to start with. Honestly, 4-star weak foot's brilliant for a centre-back. 5-star skill moves, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's fun that they added it into the game. And, like, now you can do a full team of skillers and stuff like that. So it's fun, but it's not really necessary. Um, as we move on, acceleration's better than sprint speed, which I personally find better. If they are going to differ, I'd rather the acceleration be more. Um, especially for a centre-back. Agility and balance is more than good enough for a centre-back. Really good, actually. Reactions are insane. Um... Passing to only 70, but the only one that really matters is short passing, which is still okay for a centre-back. Composure's not bad, not brilliant, but not bad. Um, defensive stats are fine. Heading accuracy doesn't really matter. Jumping, again, doesn't really matter. Crossing, heading altogether is broken on this game. Um, interceptions is good. Defensive awareness, stand tackle, slide tackle. They're all good enough. They're not brilliant for this stage of the game, but they're not bad for a 50k centre-back. Um, strength is 84, which, as I've said, on smaller centre-backs, they always feel quite weak, as it is. Um, aggression's high, which is good. Stamina's a little bit low for a centre-back, but for a centre-back, shouldn't make too much of an issue, honestly. I usually, like, if it's not 85 plus nowadays, it's not brilliant, but, you know, what do you do? They always mess up on stamina. Um, I've put an anchor on him. Personally, if you're going to use this card in your team for a while, I'd put a shadow on him. But he's not going to stay in the team for long, so I'm not going to waste a shadow card on him. But, um, yeah, if I personally don't pay much attention to the chem styles anyway. Like, you can see the boosts on the card if you wanted to. I personally don't look at them because I don't believe they exist that much. They might give a slight boost, but nothing like they say they do. But, um, yeah, that's my opinions on the card. Let's go and get into some gameplay. So as we get into some clips for Dejean, Dejenye, Dejean, I'm going to still call him. Um, this card was good. Honestly, like, there's not, I don't, it's awkward. Because he's not brilliant, but he more than did a job. Like, I wouldn't recommend him to anybody, but if people had him, then I wouldn't say get rid of him and don't use him. Because he, he was good. As I say, wasn't anything special, but he got the job done. Um... Problem with him first that I thought was going to be a problem was his strength. Um, he's five foot ten, and he's only got eighty four strength. Eighty four strength on his own isn't brilliant, especially when you're five foot ten. You're more than likely going to get bullied. Um, he didn't get bullied that badly, but I didn't come up against like the really good players like the CR sevens and that. Apologies for these sort of bits of lag; they just happen now and again, and I don't know how to stop it. Um, bad bouncers as well like that. There was a lot of times where like I'd tackle him um, and I wouldn't get the ball back with him. I don't know if that's him or just the game. His passing was fine though. You see if, um, a few just clipped long balls to the full backs and that that were good. What was good though, his agility and balance. You can see me controlling him here, running around. I have faith that he can get back into position quick enough, which means I can let the AI defend as well. Another ping out there. But yeah, his agility and balance was really good, which means I can rush him out and I have faith in him getting back in time. Look at that, he's been turned there with Mbappe and easily gets back in time. Again, can stand him up with faith. Unfortunately, there's hardly any gameplay for um, Degenier because I played five games and they just didn't attack a lot and he didn't have much to do. 
But um, yeah, apologies for that. But that being said, let's get into some um, more summaries on him. So as we get into the actual summary, apologies for the camera being in the way of the awareness bit. Didn't take that into account when I was making it, but that does say defensive awareness. Um, yeah, honestly, as I said during the gameplay, this card was fine. Wasn't bad, wasn't brilliant, but he'll do a job. If you've got him, if you packed him untradeable or something, then he'll do a job for you. Would I go out and buy him off the market? No, but if I packed him, I'd use him. Um, if your team's not brilliant. The pros, pace was fine, agility was really good, and I was impressed with his defensive awareness. I didn't say that during the gameplay clips, but he stayed with the attackers really well. Like, if they made a run through, the amount of times that an attacker will get the better side of the defender, and he'll just, like, sort of stop or stop marking him and stop running, and just let him go through for a pass across is a lot, but his defensive awareness was fine like that. Cons, small and weak. I said this at the start of the video, I thought it was going to be a possibility. Unfortunately, it was. Didn't He lost quite a lot of tackles, which is a major point with a centre-back. Um, stamina as well is quite low. I didn't really notice it, but if you come up against good players or go into extra time and stuff, it could be an issue. Overall rating, 7 out of 10. As I say, wasn't bad, wasn't brilliant. Height and strength were an issue, but pace and agility was good. So, you know... Six to one, half a dozen of the other. Um, value of coins, 7.5 out of 10. Um, for only 50k, that's not a lot of coins at this stage of the game. What are we? We're at the end of March. Like, 50k is not a lot for people that play this game consistently and play weekend league and squad battles and stuff. But, in my opinion, there is better alternatives. Which are, as I say there, Longland Varan. Like, obviously, De Genier doesn't get good links as it is. So, you'd probably go in Spanish league. Um, if you go in Spanish League, long way for 15k will do just as good as job. And Varane will do even better for like 10k, 15k more. Varane will be a much better choice than De Genier, in my opinion. Enjoyment, again, 7 out of 10. Okay, not brilliant. Um, it's got 5 star skills, which is good. But it's dribbling was so bad that you really can't use them. Like, his agility and balance is fine defending. But if you actually try and get the ball and run forward with him and stuff, like, it just doesn't work. But the fact that he does have five star skills always gives you an option of a little bit of enjoyment. But um, yeah, that being said, that's the Degenier player review done. Let's go and get into the Munoain one. Now as we take a um, look at Munoain, that's the team that I'm using by the way guys. Didn't say at the start, but um, I did buy De Jong for 1.5. Um, don't know if I'm enjoying him yet or not. But yeah, Munoain, um, start off 5 foot 7. A little bit low, a um, little bit small, sorry, but... Like, Messi's 5'7", and he and I get on with him, I suppose. So, I'd usually like him a little bit taller, but 5'7 is still fine. Medium low, which is a problem, honestly. Um, low work rate's good. Medium work rate for an attacker isn't brilliant. It means that, like, he doesn't continue runs that often. Like, you have to tell him to make your own run by, like, double-tapping LB and stuff and making them run. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Cheers, mate. Um, but, yeah, not a fan of medium... You can put him on stay forward, but it really doesn't work the same. Four star skill moves fine. Five star weak foot is obviously brilliant. That's more than good enough. Um, in games, again, as I said with Jenny, uh, De Jenny, I'd rather higher acceleration and sprint speed, so I don't mind that. Shewin's only 84, but the two aspects that matter most are quite high. 89 attack positioning and 88 finishing is good. Um, long shots don't really matter. Volleys and penalties don't matter. Shot power is very low, though. Honestly... Um, 77 is low. Inside the box, like, close range should be fine. But, like, edge of the box, finesses and stuff with low shot power don't work very well. So, that could be an issue. Um, cross Again, same with passing. The only three stats that really matter in passing for me are curve, short pass, and vision. Vision and short passing are brilliant as it is. Curve's a little bit low, but it's still reasonable. Um... Dribbling is all brilliant. Reaction's a bit low, but agility, balance, perfect. Um, ball control, dribbling. Composure's still high as well. And then physical. Strength's really low, but you've got to expect that. He's 5 foot 7. Stamina is a little bit low. 83. As I say, like 85 plus is good. I've used a couple of players um, with 80 stamina, like Tevez. And he ran out of stamina quickly when he's got like 81. Um, Lissandro Lopez as well with 80 is pretty much the same. Um, he's got flair as well. Don't know if that matters a lot, but he does as a trait. Um, again, I've put a hawk on him. 
because he's not staying in the club for long. If you actually got him in the team and you're going to keep him, then I would recommend a Hunter for him. But I'm not wasting a Hunter card on Mignogne. But um, yeah, again, let's get into some gameplay. Getting some of the gameplay clips. Um, honestly, guys, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you here. I know some people don't like it when I say I don't like players and that, but I'm not going to lie to anybody. This card was terrible. Like, I can't express how bad he was. I don't... Like, it's it's annoying, honestly, because I thought it'd be good. Like, his stats on his card, he's got the pace, um, at least the acceleration. The agility, the balance was brilliant. He's five foot seven, which is fine. Like, you'd expect him to feel good on the ball. Um... He's got a 5-star weak foot, which is fine. 4-star skill moves, fine. Like, I thought it'd be good in-game. But I don't know why it is. I don't know if it's because he's got a half-decent big body type. But his dribbling was horrendous. Like, so bad. You'll see some clips coming up where he dribbles the ball so far in front of him. Like, when I'm sprinting with him, because in this game, like, apologies for this bit of lag, by the way. It's only really that clip here and there that it does it on. But, like, his dribbling, you can see here, it's so far in front of his body. Like, his close dribbling's okay, but close dribbling, walking the ball, will not work against good players consistently. So you need to sprint with players. And somebody with stats as good as his, he should be able to sprint with the ball. But it's so heavy. Shooting as well. Inside the box, like, penalty box-wise and closer, he's fine. But, like I said in the intro, I thought it'd be a problem. His shot power was definitely a problem. Because he'd get most shots on target like this. A near post shot there is usually a goal. He'll get it on target, but he's not got the power to get it past the keeper properly from the edge of the box. Which, if you're playing him cam like I did, you definitely need. You get so many chances from the edge of the box. But again, heavy touches there. I'm sprinting through and it's just heavy touch after heavy touch. Um, getting there, edge of the box, finesse shot. With a good player, that's usually a goal. But low shot power, again, I get lucky there. That never would have gone in without a deflection. Um, inside the box, as I say, it's fine. You'd expect anyone to score a shot like that. It was just the dribbling that made me hate him. This clip sums it up. Like, look how heavy them touches are. There's another one coming up in a second as well. Um, it's just so heavy. Again, I feel like I need to put more power on the shots to try and get it to go past the keeper. But here, the touch, how far away from his body is that? Like, it's honestly incredible for somebody with such good stats that his dribbling is so bad. And I just didn't understand it. Another near post shot should have gone in, but low, low shot power. And these are just the clips repeating himself. But yeah, honestly, it's just dribbling awful, completely put me off him. And um, yeah, that's the gameplay. Let's go and get into some more uh, summaries. So as we get into the final bit of the video, I'd hate to end it on a downer, but as I said during the gameplay, terrible card. Like the pros, passing, his through balls, his short passing was pretty good, didn't really have a problem with that. Um, his weak foot helped obviously being able to pass on either side. But the cons is literally everything else. His pace, he felt slow, dribbling was so heavy and awful. Shooting, shot power was a massive issue. Edge of the box shots just very rarely go in, which is a big problem on this game because they're very OP. Overall rating, 5 out of 10. I've put harsh but necessary. Honestly, I don't even know if it's harsh. Like, because I give Genye a 7 out of 10 and he was fine. Like, Munyain is a million times worse than Dejenye, uh, so to give him 5 is probably generous. Um, he was just, like, the reason? Just terrible. I've put very bad on the ball, but it was just everything. He was so bad. Value for coins, even worse at a 4 out of 10. Over 100k for this card. Absolute robbery. Like, genuinely, you should go to jail if you're even debating paying 160k for this sort of card. Like, EA, again, it's just ridiculous. Pff, I don't even know how it's EA's fault, but I'm blaming EA for this. Like, 140k for that, he should be about 20k, and even then it's a rip-off. Just don't go near him. Honest, even if he came down to, like, 50k or something, I still wouldn't say go near him. Um, good alternatives. Honestly, Spanish players, there wasn't really any. Um, Scream Aspas was pretty much the only one. So, I'd recommend that you'd go Spanish League, where Griezmann, 65k, less than half his price. Hazard is only 90k. Who's main Dembele? I've used Dembele quite a lot this year. Ten times the player that Munyain uh, is. Not even ten times, like a million times better than Munyain for 5k. 
It's got the five star, five star as well, so you could have fun. Finishing laps, but like pace and dribbling is 10 times better than Munoin. And enjoyment, 4 out of 10. Honestly, it could have been a 1. I easily could have given him a 1. It was just so bad. As I said, dribbling was horrendous, so heavy. You can't have fun with a guy that's running with a ball 20 feet away from him. You can't do quick turns or anything. You can't do skill because the ball's miles away. The shooting was poor. He was slow. Yeah. Honestly, don't like to end the video on a downer. But it's just a terrible card. I, he will not be going near my team again. But that being said, really appreciate you guys being here and choosing to click on the video. I know it's not the best of videos. Um, I want to do more player reviews. The more I do, the more I'll get used to them. If you let me know anything for me to improve on in the comment section, that would be a big help. Even if you think it's criticism, which it will be, like as long as you put it in a nice way, I don't mind. Just don't be a dick about it. Um, and I'll happily take on board any um, critiques or anything that could be changed. Um, I know there wasn't a lot of gameplay, but I thought there'd be more in the five games that I played. Unfortunately, there wasn't. Um, this should be uploading some Monday morning. Hopefully, Monday evening time, I'll have another player review on St. Maximim and Sizoko foot birthday cards. But, as I've said, thank you for being here and choosing to click on the video. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be really appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you all for watching.